One of the sponsors of indiscipline is an arrival mentality. The moment you believe you have arrived, the deception of little results, the deception of little success. One thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and doing what? Reaching forth unto those things that are before me. 14. I the first two words please speak to me i remember this was the guy that taught us the pauline epistles i press i press have you read that place that the bible says to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling i press towards the mark i press i press towards the prophetic word it is true that God has told me you are a deliverer in this family and the grace has come that grace will make sure I must be on fire so I press I wake up in the night Shaka Patakata Lord the mantle for the deliverance of these families in my hands while they are sleeping they can sleep but I press welcome to Start Now Channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence the Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. I'm sorry to say this, but our generation is a very indisciplined generation. That's why we don't become successful. We don't take anything serious, not just God, even our destinies. Are we together? You start a business, you open your shop by 12, you close it by 4 at will. You may have a bottle of olive oil in that shop. I guarantee you, you will still fail because there is no discipline. Father, if it be thy will, take this cup of me, but nevertheless, nevertheless, it is within my power. I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it up. I have the power to keep quiet. I have the power to speak. When they talk against you, you have the power to keep quiet so that God will now arise and fight. Let's not throw everything to God and just make a fool out of our lives. You have the power to be disciplined. God has anointed you to be a good worship minister. You need to be disciplined to wake up in the night to pray and receive songs and write and edit and receive songs. As a man of God, you are called, you need to be disciplined to sit down and take notes and research materials. Do you know, let me tell you sincerely, Jordan is here and he'll tell you, do you know how many books I read just for this, this series? You won't believe it. I listened to more than 11 to 15 ministries different perspectives not because i don't know anything about it why will you read so many books just for a series everybody say discipline please shout it i know you don't like it say discipline nothing just happens like that this is where many of us miss it there is a dimension of deliverance called the discipline of conformity you constrain yourself on the strength of what you are looking at there's too much distraction you want to be great but anything goes oh someone is marrying somewhere i need to run and go yet god is calling you a man of god you have a conference in two days you are there one naming ceremony there you are there again to court uh, to, to, to one of you are, you are just moving up and down and then you wonder why the power of god does not come discipline There are times I'm so tired, humanly speaking, let me tell you. Sometimes you see it. I can be so tired the last two weeks. I've been ministering every day back to back. You think if I have, if I have my way, what do you think I, I want to be doing now? Just find somewhere, somewhere and, and throw away my phone and, and shut my ears and sleep. It's called discipline. Yes, there is grace. But let me assure you, if you are not disciplined, you are abusing the grace of God. There are many funny graduates around just waiting and believing that with, with indiscipline and carelessness, they don't pay attention to conform to the terms of success. Insult anybody and believe they will prosper. My father is this. No respect for authority. No respect for anything. 
the discipline of conformity Philippians chapter 3 we'll read from verse 12 to 15 Philippians chapter 3 not as though I had already attained this is Paul either were already perfect the word perfect there's the word mature but I follow after that if I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus 13 brethren I count not myself to have apprehended one of the sponsors of indiscipline is an arrival mentality the moment you believe you have arrived the deception of little results the deception of little success one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind and doing what reaching forth unto those things that are before me 14 I the first two words please speak to me I remember this was the guy that taught us the Pauline epistles I press I press have you read that place that the Bible says to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling I press towards the mark I press I press towards the prophetic word it is true that God has told me you are a deliverer in this family and the grace has come that grace will make sure I must be on fire so I press I wake up in the night Lord the mantle for the deliverance of these families in my hands while they are sleeping they can sleep but I press let every other name fade away let every other name fade away Listen, listen, it will take you engaging prophecy through discipline, otherwise it will never come to pass. The ministry you have seen in the spirit, no matter how many demons are casted out of you, if you don't cooperate with the spirit to, come, to conform, you will never have it. You can sit down and see yourself building, building an estate. I saw an estate and I saw a spirit behind the estate. Apostle Joshua Selman can say in the name of Jesus, that spirit go. The spirit has gone. But you do not sustain the discipline to sit down. That discipline may mean upgrading your mind. That discipline may mean you sitting and speaking every day. That discipline may mean you telling certain friends, look, I'm in a new season. I love you. I know we're from the same background, but honestly, I must leave you now. Discipline, I can tell you this from experience. You will never do business with God if you ignore discipline. I think. Don't just think, no, you have a right to do whatever you want to do. It takes discipline to sit down and count the money and say in the name of Jesus, I know that I, I have what it takes to complete this nice shirt, but in the name of Jesus, I choose to say no. I love my tomorrow more than my yesterday. I love my tomorrow more than today. Spirit of the living God, I will, I will, I will walk with you. I discipline myself. It's better to be hungry today than to eat tomorrow's food today. Are we together? The next time you admire someone with a mighty hand of God, let me tell you, among the many parts of the equation, don't just say he's lucky, there is discipline. I say this with all humility and not to brag. When I stand here by seven, I live here by twelve, almost every Friday. It takes discipline. Do I have to do it? If I say I've not seen anybody, nobody's going, they will even say, Apostle, you have tried. I come and stand here and I go back home and it's not sleep that I'll sleep. Sometimes by five, I have to be up to catch a flight. Say discipline. Don't just say, Kai, God is increasing these people. Discipline. It takes discipline to see God's money and leave it there. Really rest upon your shoulder. I remember a few years ago, we went to a particular hotel, very nice hotel, went for administration and I was preparing for the meeting. The hotel had swimming pools, 
had a lot of things. And these are wonderful people. Man, when these guys saw this swimming pool, they were happy. They just went, they were swimming, they were playing table tennis. I was just watching them from my and I laughed. The Lord said, For somebody's coming three hours later, crying and saying, Lord, will you change my destiny? And I swim away that person's miracle. There is a time to swim. Now is not the time. Don't get me wrong. There is a time to swim. Are we together? This is me. There are times that I go to minister somewhere and they prepare a very serious honorarium. And God says, don't collect it. Bless the people. Say discipline. It takes discipline to obey. Lay your hands on your head and say, Lord, take in discipline out of my life forever. Pray. Shabakato sadabalakata. of conformity. The grace to take my destiny seriously. The grace to take my assignment seriously. The grace to take the destinies of others seriously. That through discipline, I can cast out devils from my life. Discipline in waking up early. Discipline in studies. Discipline. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press my faith as a sign that I believe my future. Hallelujah. Listen, please sit down. Thank you. Just discipline. God told you that there is something you have to read in a book. You bought that book since January till today. And the Spirit of God is waiting for you. And you are saying, Lord, you've not brought your word to pass. And God said, no, 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 no. I answered you since January. The indiscipline to sit down. I will go to Jordan's bookstore tomorrow. Uh, Jordan, is this book around? It will arrive next week. You don't follow up. All successful people, whether in the secular on this even those who drink and smoke they are disciplined forget all that acting they do they are very disciplined disciplined with money there are people like that god has casted the devourer but in discipline you collect a salary of thirty thousand. you carry your friends immediately to a restaurant and blow up twenty thousand. and wonder why the spirit of poverty still remains discipline as a student, you are wearing a uniform of 10,000, 20,000, and all your parents give you in a month is 5,000. Same discipline. That's right. Indiscipline. I don't cook. You are a student. I don't, it's not, I'm, I'm, it's not my thing. This, this, our pride is what, in Africa especially, is why these spirits never let us go. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.